Да, я тогда, значит, выключаю, да, свой, э, свое видео, потому что, чтобы не отвлекать на лишние лица. I'm Reini Hauser. I think most of you know me. A process worker, a psychologist, and very interested in group facilitation, group dynamics, group interaction. Welcome to everyone. Приглашаем вас к нашему третьему открытому форуму. Сегодняшний форум отличает от предыдущих двух еще и то, что мы его записываем. С нами команда Мамаки Фильм. Пожалуйста, чувствуйте себя абсолютно вправе говорить с выключенными экранами, с измененными именами. Мы не можем гарантировать вам безопасность. Пожалуйста, позаботьтесь о себе. Вам может быть болезненно слушать то, о чем мы здесь говорим, то, как мы говорим. Вас может это еще больше поранить. Мы этого не хотели бы. Именно потому что, на наш взгляд, Прямой диалог между российской и украинской стороной еще очень сложен. Может быть, в какой-то степени невозможен. I'm living in Zurich already about 15 years. I get married with a guy from Switzerland. Ah, okay. And... We also wanna... Uh, support you to uh, not say what you feel is not, uh, you know, you don't want to share. Please only share what you want to share. I want us to feel comfortable here, as comfortable as possible in this, in this terrible situation. It was a very difficult time mm -hmm. for me as a Russian So, it's, 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 origin, yes. yeah, that's something absolutely impossible for the heart, for the mm -hmm. brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, when all life long we hear that uh, it's our brothers, mm -hmm. but brother's country. The shock and time. painful. I can that feel was, your pain. So it was one month, it was just crying, just mm -hmm. crying, crying. Mm -hmm. And you have no idea What to do. Mm -hmm. Насилие, оно, по-моему, обладает таким свойством, оно как бы нам выкл... это настолько больно, настолько страшно, что мы не хотим этого видеть. Оно имеет такую функцию. Mm -hmm. Нашу психику говорит, это настолько страшно, что этого не может быть. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. И вот здесь нельзя заснуть терапевту. Кто-то должен сказать, боже, это, это больно, это было так больно, это было ужасно. Mm -hmm. Ага. Вот терапевт вот этот, этот момент не, не должен пропустить, сказать угу. «стоп, этого не должно было случиться, угу. мне так жаль, что это с тобой случилось». И спросить, что, что тебе нужно, вот ты, ты, у тебя есть какая-то идея, что тебе как бы помогает, могло помочь, угу. что я могу что-то для тебя сделать сейчас. Да? Угу. Иногда нужно просто вот быть с человеком вот да. в этой боли. Говорит, я, я вижу, что тебе больно, угу. я с тобой. Shit happens, но я с тобой. Mm -hmm. Давай замедлимся здесь. Mm -hmm. Ничего сделать-то нельзя. Но нельзя сказать, что ничего не произошло. Mm -hmm. Я прекрасно осознаю, и во мне есть тоже голоса и переживания, которые говорят, что вот это, вот это вот наше бесполезно. Что мы не можем сейчас поговорить и договориться действительно людьми, разделяющими противоположные точки зрения на происходящее. Я прекрасно понимаю и знаю в себе этот голос, который говорит, что сейчас невозможен диалог, что лучше вообще устраниться из него и, и уйти в внутреннюю иммиграцию, не участвовать в происходящем, а просто делать то, что получается самому. 
Всех приветствую. Я первый раз и слушая, очень хотелось поделиться, кто я в этой ситуации. Ну, то есть это прям тотальная беспомощность, непонимание ну, собственного соотношения с этим и такая некоторая сюрреалистичность происходящего. Сильное впечатление, которое до сих пор ну, висит во мне какой-то картинкой, но ну, непонятно, в какую сторону тут двигаться и что с этим делать. Сегодня э, у моей хорошей знакомой, э, которая живет в Киеве, день рождения. Я э, удаленно через Facebook слежу, как они. И э, мне очень хотелось хотя бы просто оставить сердечко под этим постом, где идет призыв э, к сбору средств. И я поймала себя на том, что я не могу себе позволить как-то внутренне. Я просто боюсь. Я... Мне очень стыдно за это. Спасибо за сделать. Больно. Очень больно. Yeah. Как вот мне кажется, что может возникнуть ну, такая привычка, что ли, да, или да, идентичность, вот что я не да, я там слабая, да, или я не даю отпор, или там другие пускай там за меня этим занимаются, да. Как ты можешь дать отпор? Ты не можешь дать отпор. В этом-то в этом и трагичность, в этом-то и насилие. Ты не можешь. Ты можешь пытаться. Угу. И вау, ты пыталась себя защитить. Но говорить тебе, что ты должна дать отпор, Нет, понятно. Угу. никто, мне кажется, это в коре неправильно. Угу. Там, мне кажется, нету ничего другого, как приз... вот когда-то себя признать, что ты слабее, что ты, что ты слабый. Ты не можешь ничего, действительно, ты связан по рукам и ногам. И тебя убьют, если только ты вякнешь что-нибудь. Ну, убьют тебя. Угу. В этом-то и ужас вот этой вот теории, что ли, позиции силы, что сильный прав, что сильный может, а слабый, не знаю, что может сделать слабый, понять, что он слаб, проиграть, умереть. Кричать о помощи, может быть, если есть силы, если есть. А может быть, ты и не можешь кричать о помощи. Да, там же тоже наша психика, она, там очень мало выбора. Ты можешь бежать, ты можешь пытаться себя защитить, либо ты можешь впасть в полный ступор и, и не мочь себя защитить. Да? В какой-то момент мне дал ответ Эриксон. Он сказал, тебе было больно, ты страдала в этот момент. И это именно это делать человеком. Человек вот так себя ведет в этой ситуации. Mm -hmm. Именно это была твоя человечность. Mm -hmm. И это был, ну, как бы ты на то, что он с тобой делал, или то, что mm -hmm. она с тобой, это, это было бесчеловечно. Mm -hmm. А ты в своей боли, в своем, в своем бессилии, в своем невозможности себя защитить. Вот mm -hmm. это то, как, как это переживает человек в такой ситуации. Волнуюсь. Бьется сердце. А, Как-то вот когда подхватил свой импульс поднять руку, прям а, тут штормит. А, я волнуюсь. Вот. И а, как-то я хочу обвинить, но я также хочу и поддержать того, кто, ну или тех, кто а, найдет возможным встретиться с моим обвинением. Я не думала о том, что я хочу говорить, но когда Саша начал... А, есть вещи, из-за которой я лично испытываю огромный стыд. Я чувствую себя соучастником преступления, которое сейчас происходит. Это спонсировалось и поддерживалось НАТО и Штатами с целью ослабить и, возможно, там, так или иначе свести лбом эти два, наши два народа. Это моя боль, 
Ну, сейчас я а, верю в то, что похоже, что это единственный ну, какой-то путь. Я просто чувствую, как у меня злость поднимается. На мой взгляд, это демагогия. Потому что вот прямо сейчас разрушают другую страну. Нашу имени. Просто система, вся, вот вся цивилизация, которая сейчас есть в мире, я, я не могу из нее эскейпнуться. Но я останусь внутри страны, я останусь под каким-то лендлордом. И меня это правда бесит. Я не понимаю, почему я не могу... Ну, вот я родился как живое существо, почему я не могу быть свободным? Я сейчас не понимаю, что я могу делать для того, чтобы изменилась вся цивилизация. Вся цивилизация с этим капитализмом, с этими... Э, Техноталитаризм, когда реально дегуманизация происходит. Stiller by Max Frisch, the famous Swiss writer. And this Stiller went to the Spanish Civil War to fight, you know, many Swiss went. And so he had to protect this one bridge with his gun. And then two Franco or three Franco soldiers came across the bridge and he just couldn't shoot. He just couldn't. It was an act of humanity. He didn't shoot. So he was not quite completely frozen and mm -hmm. he didn't quite dehumanize the other. Yeah. Well, do you think that there's moments where we need to be less than human? Well, first of all, I've never been at the war, so I don't have that experience. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so in, my, in my life, I want to live for love and mm -hmm. you know happiness mm -hmm. and wishing it the same to others but also i went through medical school mm -hmm. and uh, i know that when there is a surgery needed mm -hmm. you know you have to put your patients to sleep mm -hmm. i mean he she cannot mm -hmm. be fully human mm -hmm. and feel pain mm -hmm. so so i know this that there is a this aspect uh, needed aspect of anesthesia Yes, or mm -hmm. frozenness mm -hmm. that sometimes uh, could be helpful to make it better yeah. after, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, but mm -hmm. to choose when and how, I think this is moral decision that I've never taken in my life. Eva, you, you can be very cold and mm -hmm. precise. Mm -hmm. I'm also inviting all other voices that are opposing this, my personal viewpoint. And my conscious attempt is to address all opinions and embrace all opinions, as painful as they may be. So that I'm not neutral is a conscious decision and it just so happens feeling-wise. Мне так страшно за тех, кто здесь. И я понимаю, что я абсолютно бессильна. То есть я пытаюсь что-то говорить, но я чувствую, что как будто у меня отнимают это право голоса. Мы утрачиваем будущее, мы утрачиваем сейчас связь, мы утрачиваем связь с тем миром, который мы считали своим. И для меня последней каплей был вот этот разговор, надо наказать всех россиян, чтобы они наконец поняли, проснулись, пробудились и... А вот дальше что? И тогда я слышу это просто как предложение. Давайте мы их накажем всех, чтобы им всем было плохо. И я не вижу в этом смысла, потому что человек, которому плохо, он не может никому помочь. Я это ощущаю по себе. Когда я ощущаю поддержку других, у меня есть силы для того, чтобы помогать. Когда я живу и со всех сторон я вижу вот эти, я слышу эти постоянные обвинения, я понимаю, что у меня заканчивается ресурс. It's really hard emotionally to watch that work 
and not feel compassion and not to cry. What, uh, what was new for them? Uh, so I'm not always uh, looking for the new, uh, but uh, I think what I've learned in terms of, of therapy mm -hmm. in the recent years, that it's more than doing any particular thing, mm -hmm. like a task, mm -hmm. is uh, to listen and to be present as a human being. And what's new for them was certainly they could share it with a Swiss psychologist. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's healing. That's, mm -hmm. those, those are healing uh, experiences. When I went to the um, Halbanhof, the, mm -hmm. the main sta train station, and uh, suddenly I met uh, someone, volunteer, and I asked if I can help. And then, uh, during this volunteer job, uh, it was very easy actually. Uh, we met people who came from the train, tried to explain everything, and uh, maybe we went together to the um, store to buy SIM card, for example. Or, uh, so we tried to organize basic, basic help. And mm -hmm. almost uh, at the beginning of this work, uh, it was uh, one family, uh, grandmother with uh, young, no, it's not teenager, it's almost man, mm -hmm. 17 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah. And then I invited them home and uh, my husband and son could have a chance to talk to them. And then everybody looked great, mm -hmm. we, d we just tried. Wow. We just tried. It's a big heart. Yeah, a big heart. Uh, it was help not only for them, it was help for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. You cannot imagine how it changed my life. Mm -hmm. it, that was so helpful. I could breathe mm -hmm. for, for the first time. Mm -hmm. So I would say it was help mostly for me. That's a very important moment when it changed from couldn't breathe, pain, to breathing again that the guilt is a huge thing in the field here, it was a huge And I was also challenged by Olga being a, a regular person taking such decisive action. Inviting someone, uh, offering a room, mm -hmm. helping them, it was quite amazing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I think the clients are more advanced than me. Can I ask you, do you have family in Russia? Uh, so my daughter now there, just on the border of Ukraine. So of course I worry about her. And uh, my mom, of course, their sister, so oh. and many friends. Mm -hmm. uh, so so you, you talk to them on... Oh, that's another topic. Um, Maybe we it, briefly touch that topic. So I had conflict with my mom. Mm -hmm. That was Tell us about maybe. that, yes. Uh, yeah, many families uh, have big, big, uh, big conflict. conflict. Yeah. Tell, tell us a little bit about your mm -hmm. conflict with your mother. How, how is that happening? You love each other, you're, you're family, you, you had uh, good relations. I think it's very important to stop contact with those who don't understand the uh, situation, who uh, dreaming, you know? Mm -hmm. they, uh, we have to show that we don't support this idea, we, mm -hmm. we don't support this uh, mm -hmm. way so of you, thinking. So you think if you relate to them, mm -hmm. which they, is often relax. my hope, mm -hmm. to still relate to them, mm -hmm. hoping that they a little bit hear you, and you hear them a little bit, and so there may develop some type of understanding. You think you're hopeless in that sense. You absolutely. Think? Absolutely I hopeless. Tried. What made you so hopeless? I asked them to read a uh, book, uh, for example, about uh, or watch uh, some movies. Mm -hmm. If they close completely, mm -hmm. if they don't have a chance for mm -hmm. me to say my 
pos- about my position, mm-hmm. then why should I fight? Mm-hmm. So how I was just, it with your mother? And with mother, I stopped relationship for a long time. We didn't talk mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because I, I told, give me a chance just to explain you why I think that's a totally wrong way. You ask your mother, give me a chance uh, yeah. to listen to me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, uh, I explained that uh, she has to read, for example, Orwell. Oh, then right. it's uh-huh. so read easy uh-huh. to, to look from another oh, wow. side. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure she would not like, because she's from the Soviet Union mm-hmm. uh, mentality. Mm-hmm. 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 But at least she will see another mm-hmm. side. So she read it? No, 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 that's no, the problem. No. Uh-huh. She didn't want to listen. Mm-hmm. She didn't want to hear. And, and when you it. said, I cut contact, mother? So I hope she was uh, first maybe angry, maybe mm-hmm. crying, mm-hmm. but maybe she could watch those movies, what I said. That actually, it was true. She told me, yeah, I watched your movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, nothing happened. Several weeks, uh, uh, she didn't go to the contact. And then suddenly, uh, mother from my friend died, young mother of your friend. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. that was important for me, of course. Then I called my mom. Oh, you're smiling. Yeah. That was sweet. You contacted her again. Yeah, and, uh, and then... first what she asked, uh, someone from our family is in Ukraine, how can we help? No. Oh. Mm. So you work with her somehow. It was a, a light to, to relate to her. Helped. That's my hope, all that too. That if we continue to relate, you send movies, books. We we debate, we fight, we stop relation, we start again. No, I still think it's it's not working. Uh, I it think, changed I her. think, I think her it's not uh, to uh, really have a good result. Yes, <clears throat> I don't think it's the result matters so much. Mm-hmm. It will take time. It will take time. We cannot say, save ocean we, when we switch off water, mm-hmm. but we do at least something. Mm-hmm, exactly. Then you feel better mm-hmm. when you mm-hmm. at least something. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I think that is a a good ending here. We do something, like we switch off water, we don't save the ocean, but we save a little bit of water. Yeah. We are afraid to be not knowing. We are afraid to be weak or... You mean as a culture? As a culture. Mm -hmm. Mm. Because from my experience, if I'm weak, then they will run all over me. Mm-hmm. Who, whoever they they are, mm-hmm. they will uh, hit me again and again and again. Mm-hmm. So, so that's a cultural fear that I just have in my bones. Well, I think yeah. that's really a very uh, patriarch thing. I mean, not just Russian, uh, all over the world, right? Mm. If I'm strong, or I need to be strong, men need to be strong, men don't cry, men... Mm-hmm. Uh, defend their women and Mm -hmm. families and so this whole posture is sort of like the nature of men so I think actually it's it's a very old oldish Mm -hmm. model Я буду говорить из роли, ну, назовем ее так, наивного и живого существа. Вот человек и человек, не в смысле гражданин какой-то страны с каким-то паспортом, а вот ну, живого человека, как птицы, как червяка, как медведя. К меня ну, бесит, что я родился, пришел в этот мир, который устроен вот так неправильно. Thanks for sharing. What would be the newish model? The new model is a continuum <laughs> of more modern psychological frames, a development, postmodern, from old, patriarch, classical, like from Afghanistan type, Taliban type, uh-huh. imperial, to modern and postmodern where Nothing's true, 
There is no firm ground. It's all a matter of negotiation. Feelings matter. Mm -hmm. Sensation matter. Relationship matter. Uh, and that's that sort of, if you think of a few hundred years, I think that's more and more, it's a, the model is changing. Can you um, unfold a little bit the new model? I'm not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say classically the death patriarch. But I imagine this figure is not interested really in in the experience so much of his children and of his many wives, mm -hmm. but sort of stuck in his dogmatic frame. Mm -hmm. It's like, almost like, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, a religious fanatism. Mm -hmm. If we go towards feelings and to, towards unknowing, we become weaker and then, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whoever is stronger mm -hmm will conquer us mm -hmm. so uh, yeah that's a very you, very deep-rooted myth of Western society it's basically Darwinian and neo-Darwinian mm -hmm. model the survival of the fittest mm -hmm. and that that's how we came to be who we are by mm -hmm. selection by natural selection mm -hmm. through fitness right. and uh, <laughs> There is another model which mm -hmm. is sort of secondary, mm -hmm. which is we came here through collaboration, mm -hmm. not through fitness. It's, it's a wrong approach. It's not, it's not true that the fittest survived. It's more like a network of relation, and out of these relations is development. It's a, it's a completely different mm -hmm. approach. But it looks like if you... <laughs> But it, these are two competing models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the, the, the model of uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there are scientific supports right. of this model. Mm -hmm. In philosophy, in also in uh, neurobiology. Communication is the, maybe a bigger power mm -hmm. than strength mm -hmm. could be a bigger power mm -hmm. than strength mm -hmm. like it could be mm -hmm. an evolution of perception of our power like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no i think so i think it's a, it's a change also that you start to realize that weakness is strength mm -hmm. it's a bit of a platitude but yeah. sensitivity is a strength, strength. Uh -huh. sensitivity. if you're sensitive to the smells to the air to uh -huh. you're adapting Right. And if you're not, if you're, if you're very mm -hmm. one-sided, uh, you don't perceive what's happening mm -hmm. on the fringe, mm -hmm. you run into the wall. So, so pay, like feeling pain is actually good for your adult, like because with Katya we spoke about being human and allowing yourself kind of to feel pain, you mm -hmm. know, something mm -hmm. like that. So feeling pain is not only, oh my God, why am I mm -hmm. feeling pain, but it's also uh, a new skill, man. Mm -hmm. No, it's an ad adaptive no, quality we'll like fear, fear. Yeah. like fear too. Uh -huh. Fear is very useful. Uh -huh. If you're not afraid, you're going to be shot right. pretty quickly. Yeah. I think in this model here with the collaboration, you have many alternative <laughs> worldviews, uh -huh. and you discuss them, uh -huh. and you try to find together the best way. Uh -huh. Of course, it's idealistic. It may be seen as idealistic because some are not interested in healing the world uh -huh. because they make a lot of money by oil, by coal. Yeah. They may not be ready yet, but one day the temperature will also tell them that they have to change. Mm. This is more a self-organizing system versus here is a is sort of a decision-making strong mm -hmm. male in your mm -hmm. words who is all isolated and alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're weak or if you're ill, even the strong man needs a hospital, needs mm -hmm. a nurse, needs care. But this looks like a body, no? Like ourselves, mm -hmm. they're in communication with each mm -hmm. other. So mm -hmm. this more looks like more like a live system, no? Mm -hmm. This looks more know. like a live system, like an organism. Yeah. This looks more like a brain, just an isolated brain. 
всегда все, что происходит, гораздо проще объяснить теории заговора. Это буквально математическая теория, там в теории игр. И поэтому самое простое объяснить, что кто-то злобный со стороны все это устраивает. На самом деле это устраиваем мы сами, и нам сложно это осознать. Вот так, так происходит наша эволюция и в такой трагедии. А есть ощущение, что во многих, кто сейчас говорил вот до этого, есть такой вирус вот этого империализма, что давайте мы вот здесь установим такую империю и попрем, куда глаза глядят. Maybe you can, um... Uh, support me a little bit as <laughs> a Russian. Uh, I get uh, sometimes crit well, I get criticized for having imperialistic character. I'm not really aware of how I do it. I want to correct mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. So how, how mm -hmm. as a person mm -hmm. or me or other Russian people, how do we do that? How do mm -hmm. we, how are we well, imperialistic? First, I would think that maybe that's a projection of the other person, that she sees you as imperialistic uh, uh, for her own reasons. Mm -hmm. It could also be that you actually do display double signals, mm -hmm. right? And that you have certain signals of rank, maybe you have a certain rank mm -hmm. that you want to become more aware of. If we take the attack serious, that this person ha sees something, okay. like let's say, let's uh, let's say five percent, the other mm -hmm. person is somehow right. Okay, let's say five percent. Mm -hmm. uh, so we right. can learn from that person. We can a ask that person, "What do you see in me? How am I imperialistic? Just mm -hmm. because I'm Russian is not a very good reason." Mm -hmm. uh, then you would identify me just with a nationality, mm -hmm. but do you also see? in my behavior actually now. Mm -hmm. How does this tendency show? I mm -hmm. would just show interest in trying to learn. Mm -hmm. The other person would say, your Russian part is just obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, and I would say, how am I obnoxious? Mm -hmm. yeah. How am I obnoxious? I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Well, you travel around the world and I can't. I'm stuck in Minsk, <laughs> for instance. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's, that's true, but why is it bad? Hmm. Good question. Then, yeah, so you're interacting with that uh, attacker, and I would say, hmm, I think you're thinking you're better than me. That, that uh, we would have to enter the context and right. the details. Yeah. So oh, yesterday, yes, you took that seat, uh -huh. and, and, and we did, you didn't ask me if I wanted it. Right. Um, oh, thank I'm you. Sorry. Thank you. I will never do that again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Use your privilege oh. and offer me the seat. <laughs> Don't hate yourself. <laughs> it's just an example. That was a good one. <laughs> it's yeah. just an example. So I think it is mm. working because you do feel somewhere guilty. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the problem that I would work with. Mm -hmm. That you're imperialistic is bullshit. You're just because you're Russian. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't believe that. But that you have these privileges, yes. I'm a bit imperialistic mm -hmm. towards others because I have to protect myself from others who are stronger. Show us how you are a tough woman who will be protecting her resources and you better don't dare touching my resources, yeah. And also the American in the background who's going to steal all your resources <laughs> is another dream figure. Uh -huh. And you can also show me him or her. Uh -huh. And more experientially, not so much theoretical. I think this, this, this wrestling with your authority and your, the, the American in you, uh -huh. the big thief or the one who's going to take uh -huh. and the one who is tough, uh -huh. that, is, that is beautiful dream figures that you need to explore more. Maybe you want to show us that American. That's the bad, the worst. The American uh, in the yes, background. The American. Let's uh, show. I let's don't know. Show. Xenia, I would say I need to be tough. I, I'm Russian, I need to be tough, 
Uh, oh, I want to. I okay. not want to lose American, my. I will say, like oh look at look at you, look at you. You're so old, stylish. Ha 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 ha. Uh, everyone, look at Ksenia. She is so uh, outdated. People in modern world don't act like this. Everyone, forget Ksenia. She is bad. Mm -hmm. She knows best and she is she doesn't yeah. like Xenia. I I'm very progressive, I'm very modern, and Xenia is not modern at all. She I don't want to be modern, I want to be it. myself. Insecurity, it's 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 a puff up. We're both puffing ourselves up. Puffing up, we're losing, puffing down, we may win. We don't know yet. Yeah. But how do I trust you? Um, and uh, I know you don't trust me either. But at the moment when puffing up is causing a lot of damage. Yes. Wow, there's a lot of pain mentioned. Even the speakers before. Zapad America tries to use all this and to match all this to stop the Pro-Bratsky people and we need to answer this. I feel there is a high level and without punishment. Я не знаю, что делать дальше. И вот я опять почувствовала эту стену, да? Ну, вот ощущение какой-то, ну, глухоты всеобщей. Ты хочешь э, закрыть э, меня? У меня поднимается очень сильно ответ, что вот, да, запретили. А у тебя большой ответ на то, чтобы меня остановить, еще и изолировать это. Чего же не подраться, понимаешь? Ощущение, что ты хочешь просто взять мне и ударить по лицу. There is one thing you said at the beginning that maybe we need to open up that the conflict is something healthy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because I think in uh, my culture they think, oh, if conflict happened, it means something is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know we don't look at the conflict as a healthy mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. uh, you know or creative thing or something mm -hmm. we think oh what did I do wrong I mm -hmm. made a mistake mm -hmm. I'm a horrible mm -hmm. family maybe facilitator mm -hmm. uh, I created a, a mess mm -hmm. I created a conflict mm -hmm. so to have a conflict then we stop speaking mm -hmm. then we break relationship mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. the normal then way out of then we then we repress everything and then we get back together and then yeah, and we try to forget, yeah, right. it cycles, exactly. And, and the cycles are very painful. So how a conflict could be uh, mm -hmm. not cycling and uh, mm -hmm. healthy. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think, again, that conflict is bad, is, is, is part of the patriarch worldview. And I think if, if one male dominates the whole thing with his views, the patriarch, Mm -hmm. It's hard to have a conflict. You're never right. Your, 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 your perceptions are never valued mm -hmm. in such a vertical system. Right. But the, the female system, as we sometimes say, is more horizontal, more directed toward relationship. Mm -hmm. Whether it's female or male, but it's, it's, it's another energy uh -huh. that can only develop against this patriarchy. That's why I think uh, feminism and emancipation is so important. That there is another power stopping this, mm -hmm. this one-sided, top-down ruler. Mm. If there is a rule, how can you have conflict, conflict yeah. or discuss? Uh -huh. I mean, conflict is maybe a strong word, but it could also be a softer word for conflict. It's just various viewpoints, mm. exchanging, dialogue. Oh, but there is also emotions come with that. Together with emotion, emotion. yes. Mm. And that, that, that's, that that's good. Emotions are part of it and that, need, that they need to come out. Evolution through conflict. Ah, through okay. relationship. Relationship is always conflict, it's always diverse viewpoints, emotions, negotiating between all that mm -hmm. as an evolutionary principle. Uh, while this one oppresses um, conflict, builds walls, mm -hmm. builds walls, we exclude whatever we don't like, we exclude.
This is more a model of inclusion. Whatever we don't like, we include. Uh -huh. And I think it's a decision to come from here to there. It's a, and it's maybe also a natural process as the world develops. Mindel uh -huh. often says we're just a very young crowd, 200,000 or 2 million years old. It's very young. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will develop in that direction. Как так? Как так? Как такое могло получиться? You're speaking of crying, You're very close to tears. Mm. I can feel that. Here we are, sort of again, sensing this pain that we share. I think this is a great discussion. I love, that's why I do the open forums, participate in open forums, to hear all of you. I have to admit, like, you know, talking at least about the personal state of mind, that after the forum, even though I felt okay and like, you know, didn't feel like an emotional overwhelm or something, but I couldn't fall asleep for like four hours once I got to bed. So it definitely was powerful whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what do you think was, was powerful? What, what was different than maybe in the other forums? What was, what was that, that power that, that kept you awake? I feel like one of the key differences, I guess we'll discuss a couple of them. But one of them is something I mentioned in the end, that it felt much more, much less structured, much more chaotic, much more led by the, by the participants and just like, you know, going into their dialogues and debates and fights. And it felt kind of difficult to contain, in, you know, during the process. But then as it went, I was like, perhaps that's something that needs to happen because that's also the process of giving the authority, giving the agency back to the participants, like, okay, less structure from above. Mm -hmm. Just Killing us. the authority, here is the killer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that uh, chaos was also helpful. I think that uh, it allowed participants to be more active, to be more present. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a conscious decision of ours that we wouldn't structure it by giving roles and, and uh, predetermine sort of where we would go. Многое, многое осталось невысказанным. И признаю невысказанные и неуслышанные голоса. И в этот раз было ощущение в какие-то моменты, ну, такого хаотичного, спонтанного галдежа и малого количества структуры. И в какие-то моменты форума меня, как фасилитатора, это слегка растерянность повергала. А сейчас под конец я чувствую, что мне очень хорошо от этого, ровно в контексте того, чтобы мы могли проводить сами, продолжать регулярно эти форумы. По-моему, для этого нужна как раз вот эта динамика большего свободного между собой процесса, менее структурированного сферу. My hope is really, dear Russians, that you continue setting up open forums amongst yourselves and to keep relating. I love to see you again someplace in Russia so we can learn a lot together. Thank you very much for being present. I say goodbye for now. Bye bye, my friends. Oops, meeting has been ended by host. Okay. Oof, finished. Ah. <laughs> oh, <hard. laughs> oh,
So Natalia, yes, tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience. Ну я одна из более чем 40 миллионов украинцев. Родилась в Украине, училась в Украине, проработала в Украине более 42 с половиной лет. Вышла на пенсию и хотела уже пожить для себя. И вот я решила, что когда я выйду на пенсию, я займусь собой, займусь тем, что мне близко и радует меня. У меня была мечта пойти танцевать, но в нашей стране случилась беда. Shattered these dreams, you're saying. All these dreams were shattered for the moment. Обрушились, сломаны, обрушились. И сейчас только боль и страх. Боль за тех, кто там находится, за мою дочь, за зятя, за внука, за моих родных. Там у меня мама, сестра с семьей, и просто друзья находятся. Fear that they're okay or not okay. Конечно, мне страшно за их жизнь. They don't want to flee. Нет, не хотят. И поэтому вот боль и страх вызывают ненависть к тем людям, которые поломали жизнь. Это ненависть у меня немного гасится любовью и заботой тех людей, которые нам помогают. Когда мы приехали с внуком, нас встретили волонтеры. Мы познакомились со швейцарцами. И они проявили столько внимания и заботы, что вначале я все время плакала. И от страха, что будет дальше, и от неожиданной заботы, с которой меня здесь встретили. И здесь, в Швейцарии, именно в Тюрихе, Ольга стала моим ангелом-хранителем. She is not Swiss, or she is Swiss, but she's also Russian. So isn't that somehow conflicting in you somehow? Нет, у меня вообще здесь нет конфликта. Я отношусь к действиям человека. Не то, что написано в паспорте или в свидетельстве о рождении. А как человек относится к происходящему? Человек определяет не национальность, а его человечность. В украинском языке есть такое слово, как людяность. Оно переводится на русский человечность. Вот мне ближе даже людяность. Людяность. You're very wise. I'm still thinking of your dreams. Я ж думала, выйду на пенсию, перееду на дачу. У меня там речка, Днепр, ходить на рыбалку. But somehow something tells you that this is unreachable now, or I understand that territorially it's not possible in the moment. But somehow maybe we could explore. Natalia, how to live your dreams independently of this territory for the moment. Just as a, as a suggestion, maybe we could dance here. Right here, here. No, I don't know. I don't know. What you don't know? You're a dancer. What type of dance? Ну, я не знаю, мне интересно все. И, и национальные, ну, в смысле, и классические танцы, и та, э, те же какие-то восточные. Не обязательно танец живота, ну, я не знаю, ну, танго, не знаю. Мне все интересно. Moving and feeling your body and 
making steps and dreaming Чуть into that. Тело, да. Шаги, да. Вот это мне интересно. Мне это интересно. Mm -hmm. А как я справляюсь? Mm -hmm. Вот мы с Ольгой ходили mm -hmm. на озеро. Mm -hmm. Ты получаешь и визуальное удовольствие от красоты, mm -hmm. и физическое удовольствие, mm -hmm. когда ты находишься в воде, mm -hmm. и вода ласкает mm -hmm. твое тело. Mm -hmm. Ты тоже расслабляешься. Mm -hmm. И как ты mm -hmm. снимаешь это напряжение, и немножко как бы возвращаешься в мирную жизнь. Ну, здесь so, действительно мирная жизнь. So that may be something important, Natalia, that I know of the tragedy and your trauma and all your pain and fear and they're big and they're real, they're real. We don't want to take it away, but on the other side, there is something in your body that can actually transcend all that and just feel really at home in your body, in the lake, which could help you with your fears and pains here, but also ah, go into ah, something like Так я я стараюсь, и Оля меня этим исцеляет. Я просто подхожу, обнимаю, и ты уже чувствуешь тепло тела. Я стараюсь, я говорю, и ходить, смотреть на красивое. You go to Olga, you hug, you. What else would help? To get into your dreams, to 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 pick up your dreams again. Although you're not at home, you're not in Ukraine, you're here. What would help you to go into your dreams? Dance, fish, swim. Hug. Это все важно. Это все очень, очень важно. Но самое главное мечта моя, чтобы наступил мир. Mm -hmm. У нас mm -hmm. говорят, ну это mm -hmm. в гостях хорошо, а дома лучше. Of course, of course, I understand. That's it's that's painful. I don't want to take away the pain, you know. But <coughs> also realize that you're living here now. Sure, you're uprooted, of course, you're uprooted, you're not at home. And that we all want peace. But these moments of playing and, and swimming and fishing and dancing, why, why wait? Maybe go dance, maybe we should hook you up in a dance class. I tried once, I wasn't very Я successful. <laughs> you could get up and go. Shall we try? <laughs> Where shall we go? Where shall we go? I don't know where to go. Look at that, she's like a dancer. She's like a dancer, yeah. We could dance. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And hug and go like this. Yeah. Anytime, anytime, anytime. Mm -hmm.